welcome to this video and here i should discuss some techniques in advanced inequality that's obviously for olympiads and first of the inequality is source inequality this is very famous and obviously a powerful inequality source statement was that at first we must have some non-negative real a b c and a non-negative real number r uh, not non-negative that will be uh, positive real number r means r greater than 0 let me write this type r0 plus in this kind we can express the following things and the if these are these are primary condition on that case we can say that a to the power r times a minus b times a minus c plus b to the power r into b minus c times b minus a maybe and plus c to the power r equals to c minus a into c minus b this whole thing will be greater than or equal to zero this is very powerful inequality okay let me highlight this main statement so here is the proof before uh, I proving this I should like to say you something see that if we take r equals to 1 on that case we get uh, a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 a b c minus a square b plus a square c plus b square a plus b square c plus c square a plus c square b which is obviously greater than equals to zero actually i have already calculated this and if you would like then you can write in your own hands with pen and paper so so we can see that this give us a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 abc is greater than and uh, equals to a square b plus a square c plus b square c plus c square a plus c square b now see this statement can you imagine something from here and obviously this is a famous inequality even this can be proved from moderate inequality which I will discuss just later of, of the source inequality so it is very well known inequality that's why we can say that, that for r equals to 1 it works okay so and if anyone want about the proof of the whole thing uh, about the thing I have mentioned here means if anyone asks to prove this uh, star marks thing then you just have to state the source inequality and you have to prove the source inequality and the proof for source inequality is very easy indeed let me show you something <coughs> suppose uh, for the proof I should like to assume that a greater than equals to b greater than equals to c okay i assume this this is uh, without losing our generality we can assume this we have no doubt uh, for this condition okay so uh, the terms were a minus b here a minus c now you may forget about the terms this is easy to remember because at first you should put here I have uh, you should put let me write here a 
to the power r and here a minus something and a minus something and obviously the something will be b and c similarly other times will be uh, mention here and see the next term b to the power r into b minus a b minus c this is equal to a minus b times uh, this may be something like this a to the power r a minus c minus b to the power r b minus c now if you look into my assumption that a greater than b greater than c we can say that i don't know that a minus c also greater than equals to 0 and b minus c also greater than equals to 0 and obviously it is true that a to the power r greater than equals to b to the power r that follows from our assumption so this is nothing new that this term is actually greater than or equals to 0 now we are left with another term that is c to the power r into c minus a into c minus b notice that c minus a obviously less than equals to 0 and c minus b also less than equals to 0 so the multiplication will be greater than equals to 0 because c is non-negative real so finally uh, if we add let me mark here this cross and the tick sign then we are done with modern uh, source inequality and the equality case is obviously trivial when a equals to b equals to c so what i am was talking about uh, this this statement whenever you should give uh, you are should be given to solve this kind of problem you should transfer that in terms of the uh, source uh, statement and just give the proof for source inequality and you must follow that uh, the source inequalities proof is very basic now go ahead for the next terms this will be the generalization of for any functions uh, there is a, a as i mentioned that there is a generalized from or source inequality uh, actually when i was uh, seeing these things uh, of source inequality in wikipedia i show that that generalized from i feel that there should be interesting that's why i mention here but this is uh that's proof is much tough for uh, any kind of students but that is not necessary to show the proof you can recall the statement of the generalized from so here it is generalized from generalization maybe okay so for generalization um, here is the name namely valentin hornichu he is a romanian mathematician he gripped this generalization on uh, as I see 2007 or 2006 I cannot recall this time but the, uh, I saw that on a side that's why this is not so important also the statement is also most important part here the statement is pretty uh, straightforward and long uh, not straightforward this statement is uh, there are many conditions so let's see suppose a b c x y z a real number that belongs to z uh, are real not necessarily positive second state uh, second condition either a greater than b greater than c or or either this holds or c greater than b greater than a means either 
ए बी सी विल इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर और ए बी सी विल इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके ऑन दैट केस इफ एंड हेयर इज अनदर थिंग टू मैंशन दैट के इज ए पॉजिटिव इंटीजर बिलोंग टू जेड प्लस ऑन दैट केस इफ इफ इज ए फंक्शन फ्रॉम आर टू आर नोटिस दैट मैपिंग आर इफ कैन टेक एनी काइंड ऑफ वैल्यूज बट इफ एक्स विल बी ऑलवेज मीन्स वी कैन से दैट इफ एक्स विल बी ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल्स टू जीरो फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्स दैट बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर इफ वी कैन डिफाइन सम फंक्शन लाइक दिस ऑन दैट केस वी अनदर कंडीशन इज हेयर लेट मी से दैट कंडीशन फोर इफ आई इफ विल बी कॉन्वेक्स If this four condition holds, on that case, we should say that f of x into a minus b to the power k into a minus c to the power k plus f of y into b minus a to the power k into b minus c to the power k plus uh, f of z. into c minus a to the power k into c minus b to the power k this whole thing greater than equals to 0 and equality is obvious for a equals to b equals to c but from here how we can go to the source inequality from here we want to see source inequality how that will be possible so if we assume that a equals to x b equals to y c equals to z and here is k equals to 1 and f of x equals to x to the power t then we should done because on that case if you can notice uh, here that f x will be x to the power t a, a, a equals to x b equals to y to the power k k have 1 and here is x minus z and similarly other terms that are the greater than equals to 0 now you might can remember this thing because this might help you somewhere mm, i feel it's important that's why i tell you but it's the not necessary important mm, not necessary to recall but if you like you should do but the source inequality i as i have mentioned this is that is the important thing and that proof will be also so bye bye for this video and i should make a series on advanced inequality stay tuned for get more videos like this subscribe my channel to get more videos like this